By the end of this video, you will have an understanding of how to import and use environmental assets for your games using Unity. For the best tips and tricks on game programming and game development, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a video every Monday. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. Your support really means the world to us. My name is Josh Wolfers and I'm a professional game developer. Let me guide you on your game development journey. Be sure to watch this video to the end to find out how you can get more free learning resources. The Asset Store. Let's open up a browser and we are going to go into the Asset Store. So if you just do Unity Asset Store, it should be the first one there but I'm going to do not the add one. Um, and what we do, so I've talked about the asset store in other, other series, not in this one, but I guess I can do that now. The Unity has an asset store where you can buy or sell assets, tools, visual effects, anything you, you see all the categories on the right side right here uh, pretty much you could do anything there uh, you can buy it you can get it for free if they have them for free or you could sell those things in unity um, which is pretty cool if you use unreal engine they also have one as well and let's go into 2d and let's say 2D platformer. And if we look at the free assets for now, we can see down here pretty much everything that we have available to us to download. Um, so you can choose whichever one you want, whichever one you like. I am going to use this one, which is the Pixel Art Platformer Village Props from Kanos. I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong, but yeah. So you can look a look. You can look at a video here. Um, and you can also look at the images that they provided. And you can look at the content as well. So you can see it comes with materials, prefabs for the fire scene, which is pretty much this that you're seeing here. The textures that they use. Um, this is for the background. You get the particle flames, ground, darken ground regular and props and you also have these other ones so more prefabs and voila so downloading and importing the assets into unity in order for you to download this i believe you have to um log in and I don't think we are logged in. So, we're going to log in. And we are going to use this one. Um, so click on open unit in unity button and go ahead and click on open unity editor, which is going to open the editor that you have currently opened. So then you just want to select the one that you want, click on import. And from here in this little window, you can click or click um select whichever ones you want or 
which ones you don't want. You can uncheck those. I am going to import everything. And if we go to our project, we can see that we have them right here. Let me know in the comments below if this is making any sense to you or if you're struggling with anything. Have you used the asset store before using our new assets? So we are pretty much just going to replace all the white stuff um, and use our new assets. So in Sprite, we can just go here and look at whatever we want. Um, we are going to look for ground. And let's choose that one. Okay. So th these acids, right now they're not looking proper um, because we don't have the correct settings. But what you want to do is first you want to see um, the scale. I'm not sure if they say what the scale is for these here. But um, but you can figure it out by if they, let's see, why are they here? Okay. If they don't tell you exactly what the dimensions are, then you sh are probably going to need to go into a um, some kind of image editor and see how many pixels you have. Um, but I know that one unit here is going to fill the whole thing. And if you just, if we keep on the draw mode tiled, it's just going to keep on drawing them stacked like that. But we only want one there. And let's say we want three here. No, we want four. And... I'm going to put it at negative two. And we also got to make sure that the box collider is properly aligned. So the way you want to do this, since we have a width of four, we have to offset it by half of that. So that's two, and then on the Y is going to be 0 0.5, and then the size that's going to be four as well, and one on the Y. Um, and that should cover the whole thing, the whole image that we want to display. So if we go ahead and do that with everything else, then we'll be able to play test. Okay, 
So now that we have everything using the proper um, image for the ground, we have some issues. And the, the way we want to go about fixing this one is in the sprite renderer under additional settings we have order in layer and we have sorting layer as well um, so let's talk about layers a bit in 2d games and usually you have a notion of layers um, for different various uh, rendering techniques um, and special effects so if we wanted to have backgrounds um, or like different images that made up a background and scroll it in a way that kind of felt like it was 3d you would need layers to do that and those would be the for the background layers and then you would also have foreground layers if you wanted to have stuff that is like super close. Um, I think in one of these games, they actually do that. Or a... Let's see. Like, if I'm not sure if this game was actually 2D or 3D, but if it was 2D, um, which I think it was, you can see all the different layers um, that makes up this game. You can see the background, you can see the foreground over here. Um, you can see, you know, the it, it just gives it depth and. If you want to have your character um, go through, go behind some objects and then some other objects you would go in front of, then you would also use those layers. Alright, enough of that. So, we're going to keep the ground layer at zero. And we're going to push the enemies and the players to layer one. Um, if we want to change the background, a cheap way that we can do it is Doing this, And then we just parent this to the background and we set the order layer to be negative one. And now we have a checkered background. Um, so let's test it. Testing.
So there you guys have it. Um, now what we need to do is to have a notion of actual layers in our game uh, so that we can have objects in the distance and near the camera and all in between. And we also want to start thinking about, well, for one, fixing the enemies because as you could see, um, they're not touching the ground at all, so we need to add the gravity thing for that for the enemies. Um, we also need to have a better way of creating levels. We probably won't go into creating tools here, um, but we do definitely need to create a level. Um, with a start and a finish and think about what we want to what we want the player to actually use like what power-ups do we want to use um, if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments below on what you would like to see um, uh, so I, w I was thinking we could have I don't know, some kind of gems, I guess. They're pretty common in these types of games where you could uh, use those. And if you get a certain amount of those, you get more health. Uh, maybe health pickups. Um, some kind of power-up or weapon. I don't even know what the character's going to be doing to actually kill these enemies. Other than jumping on top of them. Um... And yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Congratulations. Now you know how to use the asset store, download and import assets, and use them in Unity. If you would like to follow along, I have provided a link to our project in the description below. I am affiliated with Unity. So if you do end up buying anything within the asset store, I would really appreciate it if you used the links that are in the description below. They will really help this channel. If you would like to be a part of a community of like-minded individuals, Go to my Facebook page, go ahead and like it, and I've started a new Facebook group, so please find that in the description below. It is private, so you will need to request access to it. If you have enjoyed this video and if it provided value to you, hit that like button. It really helps us with the algorithm so more people can watch it. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, it's free. And don't forget to share it with your friends or with someone who will benefit from it. Check out these other videos next on how to make a 2D game using Unity. As always, thank you for watching, stay safe, and see you next week. I'm super tired.